Hey guys and gals, this is Military Comedy with a continuation of the Frostpunk series that I had done about a month ago. So as you guys can tell, this is the arts scenario that I'm going to start. Uh, so I'm, I hope you guys actually give a lot of love for this, you know, likes, comments, the whole nine yards. I kind of want to know what you guys think if you want me to do another series for this. Because my plan as of right now is to do a series for State of Decay 2 and to do a series for Frostpunk to continue to do the little scenarios that I have not covered yet. And this is the first one. I did play a little bit of this off uh, screen or off camera. Off screen, yes. I played it through teleportation and all that type of magical powers. But no, I had played it um, off camera. And I really did enjoy it. Um, I didn't end up winning it. So I, I'm hoping that this time I do end up winning. And this is probably going to be a quick little video, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Just so I can judge people's excitement over this series and i apologize if i do sound kind of off like i am a little bit sick right now <coughs> and i'm doing my best to fix that so the seedling arcs we've been chosen to safeguard a priceless treasure the seeds and seedlings of plants from all over the world they've been de deposited in seedling arcs to stop them from freezing but it falls to us to build a city to protect these precious buildings until the winter ends however long that may be the only way to do this is with automatons we'll ensure they that the earth is reborn even if we aren't there to witness it so let's get to work all right factory plans we've researched or we've reached the generator site and seedlings are safely stored in the seedling arcs we were supposed to deploy automatons to make sure the city runs can run itself no matter the weather but the transport carrying the factory plants was lost in the blizzard. We need to build a beacon and send a team to search for it. It is really difficult to read things on my computer just because my computer is really big. It's not actually a computer now that I'm thinking about it. But, um, man, has it been a minute since I've played this? I don't believe I even have a house for any of this. So preserve the seedlings. All the seedlings and many of the tropical seeds are very sensitive to the cold. If the temperature in any of the seedling arc falls below chilly, for too long, its precious contents will be irreversibly damaged. So, first thing we need to do is we need to get houses for everybody. I believe that's at least a solid plan. You don't get anyone other than these 45 people, I believe. Alright, so let's get some engineers working on this. Let's get some engineers doing this. Let's get some engineers doing this. And let's have the automaton getting the steel wreckage. All right, and then everybody just get to work. Let's start this up. See if we can get things going. I do have people getting coal, right? This is coal? Yes, it is coal. Yeah, it's been a little while since I played this, so I am a little bit out of practice. But hopefully it won't take me too long to figure things out again and just to get back into the swing of things. And I know you guys are patient, so if it does take me a minute or two, you guys will understand. I hope, at least. Um, but yeah, how's everybody's day been going? I know my day has been a little bit of an interesting one. Uh, last night, as some of my iFunny followers would have seen, I was up pretty late with one of my buddies. Uh, his name is Guns from iFunny. We were discussing plans to make another YouTube account, but this time it would be fairly unique in its uh, in the way we handled everything. It would not be reliant on this kind of content, like gaming videos. We would actually be talking more on the political stuff and about things that we're interested in. Um, there should be a video up on iFunny before this video actually gets up kind of explaining things in more detail because we're gonna we're planning on making like a one minute long video so if you guys do end up seeing that then you know what I'm talking about and I'm just kind of preaching to the choir which I hope you guys do see and I hope you guys are intrigued by it and at least like the ideas All right, let's get a workshop because we do have quite a few people and let's get some medical posts get some people healthy healthitized and where is the beacon well, uh, if I could click on tech, I believe. No, oh, I have to research it first. I'm a dunce. Apologize my, or uh, forgive my stupidity. All right, so let's get less working on this wood production and more on researching stuff, because research is important. And add new research. Let's start off with this, because that's going to be very, very important. All right, so... Yeah, at least he's still working and getting me. I believe that's, yeah, steel wreckage. 
he's still getting me that steel and then in a minute everybody's gonna start going back to work which will be nice and then we need to just start researching as best we can anything and everything needs to be researched at this point because we really do not have anything researched which is it is what it is it sucks but we'll eventually get there all right so let's get some more wood i believe that's what we're gonna need it does look like we're starting to get kind of short on wood no inappropriate jokes are going to be made about wood today uh, hopefully not i know that i probably will but i will do my best to refrain myself all right so now that that's researched now is a good time to research this coal thumper i believe yeah i don't really like the coal thumper let's just go with a sawmill uh yeah get that because we're going to need the coal mines that's going to be the first priority i think because this game is very unforgiving to those that do not have enough coal as anybody who's played this knows so hopefully oh man we're two days in uh we could actually build the beacon at the very least so let's get that built uh over yonder i suppose is decent enough not a huge issue wherever it does end up built so you guys if you don't mind just doing that real quick and then i need to get food too because we're going to start running out of food all right abandoned supplies but I need to get the team built first. What? Storm on the horizon. With the beacon operational, we can clearly see the storm approaching from the south. It's still some distance away, but we'd rather, but we'd better keep an eye on it and make sure we get the in infrastructure needed to beat the arcs or to heat the arcs before it hits. It's awful trying to read on my my t my uh, computer because I'm literally using a TV as a computer monitor because I really don't have a computer monitor, which causes some minor issues. For instance, this whole uh, setup is pretty annoying trying to do it. Alright, and let's get them set down here. Can I? There we go. And while we're here, might as well build some food. Uh, we can get a cookhouse. That's not what I wanted, but it is what we have. Alright, so let's get that built up. And come on, day and night cycle, hurry up. Yeah, the issue I have with this game is that you're very limited in how many people you can get. Because you have the 45, I believe you might be able to get a little bit more. Just not very much more, which is not good. Alright, so we don't have, we have raw food. Or we do not, ah, words are hard. All we have is raw food. So let's get some people making actual food. And then hopefully we get this uh, next tech upgrade soon. And then from there we can start to get better things better and gooder things yes i said gooder sue me all right coal mining let's get that built and it looks like we've already basically gone through all of our food so that's fun all right just stop working and let's move you over here i suppose suppose that'll do and where is my my scouts are a little bit ways off so that shouldn't take too much time Hopefully they get there relatively quickly. All right, yeah, they're there. Explore. And so recovered treasure. We spent hours backing. We spent hours hacking at the ice to free our supplies, but we did it. We were forced to abandon them. Once doing it again would be unforgivable. And so we found some more sites and we have more resources. So let's go to this broken automaton and speed things up a little bit more. Uh. Is it almost done? Hurry up, game. Build me my stuff. And I forgot to actually start doing these things. Uh, let's do a deal with the cemetery. And then just build that over here, I suppose. Will do. Fine. And just work through the night. Uh, I wish people would actually work through the night. That would be helpful. Uh, wood crates depleted. That's not good. Let's just go over to this next one, then. Cemetery is established, and you can go to that coal pile, automaton. And once we get those coal mines up, I believe, yeah, they're over here. Uh, I could actually start building a road there, might as well. Right here looks fine. Yep, that'll do. And then once that's built up, then we can build the coal mine, and just start to actually survive better. And now it's a little bit colder. Which isn't going to be good for us. Alright. 
let's hope. Yeah, that's gonna take a minute, but it'll be done soon. Then once that's done, we can build up that coal mine and probably put the automaton to work on it, is my guess. Uh, pause it up and coal mine right there. Uh, what do I want you guys working on? What do I want you to work on? Let's go with the steelworks. I believe that'll be uh, fine, fine and dandy. All right, what is going on? Steam cores, yeah, I know all about steam cores. Basically, they're these really advanced technology that you use. Uh, it's nothing major, it's actually, well, it is actually very major, but for now, it's fine. And we've got an automaton going there, back to our city. Would you, do you wanna go to this lost dreadnought? Thank you. And just continue to build everything up and hope for the best. We're gonna have another automaton, which is very, very good news for us. Not so good news is that the seedling arcs are starting to get cold. Like, cold, cold. Alright, adaptation, emergency shift, sign. Not gonna be using it anytime soon, but it's good to have it for future use. Alright, I'm not gonna put engineers on that. I'm just gonna put this automaton on it so that he can work day and night. And then we'll have engineers working there. Sounds like a fair enough plan to me. I don't know about you guys, I hope you guys like that plan. Um, where do I get food from? I kind of forgot how to do some of this stuff, it's been a minute since i played this. I might actually have to research it, if I'm not mistaken there. And if that's the case, that's not a big deal, I can just research it pretty easily. Just need to remember how to do everything in this game. Alright, they have reached the Dreadnought. And explore. And so we rape rappelled down into the crevasse, listening to the ominous sounds of the ice cracking under the weight of the steel behemoth. After an hour or so of searching, we find the document, document safe and retrieve the factory plans. We must get them to the city as fast as possible. The weather is getting worse by the minute, and we need automatons to secure the city and the seedling arcs before the storm hits. Alright, let's send them all back to our base now. Just the sooner the better. And factory plans have been found, that's good news for us. Once they get back, I think that'll probably be the end for this episode. I believe. I might be wrong. I might do a little bit more after that, but I haven't really decided anything yet. I'm going kind of just off day to day, or I guess video to video how I feel. Alright, so now we have steelworks. Exploration. Uh, let's get some heaters. That'll help. A lot. And we could actually build that steelwork too. Might as well, since we have the technology. We have the technology. Alright, yep, get that there, and build a road out there so that people can actually work on it. There we go. Well, not people, it'll probably be the automaton again. But on the bright side, we are starting to get a pretty decent amount of coal. So with that being said, now is a good time to start making... Uh, resource depots? Yeah, that's what we need, but we need more wood for that first. So people are actually still doing that. Okay, that's not a big issue. Next thing I want to get, or try to get, are those wall drills. Those things are extremely useful. But I need to find the wall drill first. It's actually just right here. There we go. Start that up. And that probably won't be done for another day or so, which isn't a big deal. Book of Laws. Uh, what, well, what do I want? Go with the extended shift. And I'm starting to get pretty warm because I turn off my air conditioning so that I can record without background noise. And it's pretty dang toasty in here, if I if I do say so myself. I might end this video in a little bit just because I'm starting to sweat bullets. But I really do hope you guys are enjoying this episode. At least the continuation of the story of the game. Whatever, words aren't my specialty. You guys know this by now. Alright, so, construction, tech, construction, tech, factory, build it here, and then, uh, yeah, resource depots are going to be important. Alright, so those are going to be building up pretty soon. People are starting to get not so happy with everything going on, so let's uh, get that automaton over there. And we've got information coming on here about the automaton. Just letting us know that the automaton is here. 
But I think this is a good part for me to end the episode. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. If you did, leave some comments. Let me know what I can do better. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.